this guy's legs are separated in the front. See here? Looks like a little Y just like our other one right here. Nice little separation. So what we're going to do is take our knife and poke it in here and bring it down to the middle of the shoes. And I'm going to make that a pretty deep cut there. Okay. I'm going to take, turn the, uh, your carving upside down, take the tip of your knife and visualize where the end of this cut would be. So I'm going to just go right along in here and turn up this way, go right along in here, cut all the way down to his shoes. Now change the, the way I held, hold my knife and take that deep cut there and a deep cut right here. All right, right at the top of his crotch. I'm going to take a deep cut there. I'm going to take a deep cut here. And I should be able to just cut this right out. Nice clean cut. You don't want to pry with your knife. You just want to make sure you've You've cut all of those fibers. There they went. Nice clean cut. On this side, this side needs a little help. Okay, get those fuzzies out of there. Okay, now he needs a little, little crease here. A little V cut again. Just like we did before. <laughs> Turn it upside down. Try to match that V cut. Cut into that deep spot there and make that V pop out. Okay, now we've got the cut in the back of the pants and the cut in the front. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now we need some arms. And like I said before, his arms are in the back of his body. You know, they're not way up here. We don't want him hunched over. He has good posture. See this guy, even though he's a little crabby, he still has a pretty good posture for a farmer. Okay, I'm going to take my pencil and visualize right here where his elbow would be. If his pants, if his hands were in his pockets, his elbow would probably be right there. Front of his arm. There's his arm. Now, I'm going to go over here in the back because from the back we still see people's arms. Don't cut it all the way up here because remember he has an armpit. So then match this side over here. And he has fat arms. See how fat his arms are? And hands in the pocket because hands are harder to carve. So with this first one you want to have his hands in the pocket. All right. Now look at him, his shoulders are kind of high, so I'm just going to take a little cut here, up to his neck. Now bring that shoulder down. See the difference? This down and that one's still up. So now I'm going to match this one over here. Okay, this inside cut, you can probably see it here better, this is pretty deep right in here where his elbow is, and it's shallower where we come up to his wrist. So we want to make that deep enough where you can see his arm from the front. See that little arm there on each front? 
each of these you can st you can see his arm in the front and you can see his arm in the back it's a little easier with this uh, overall on so once again I'm going to put it on the table because I'm going to use a little bit of force I'm going to poke my knife in there pretty deep and then I'm just going to drag it up to the arm the wrist I'm going to go right here and put it deep again and drag it up to the shoulder now that's I know that's a pretty deep cut in there so I'm going to take my knife visualize where that tip is and cut this piece out there it is nice deep cut but you can't see it from the front so what we have to do is cut away this part of his uh, chest here all right now we can see it from the front I'm going to take this piece of wood out here All right. Now the back part of his arm. I'm going to go in here, cut down, and cut up to there. So that arm sticks out. Now we got too much wood here. So cut that down. Now we've got the front of his arm and the back of his arm. Let's do this part. Take your knife and just cut right up to that end. Then take this and kind of make that little swiveling cut. Right there. That's starting to make the, his back. Okay, now to put his hand in his pocket see that his hand looks like we we can see that his hand is in his pocket there see that cut right there we're going to cut right here at his wrist and then cut his arm so it looks like his hand went in his pocket I'm going to take this little corner out right here this little corner right here There's his hand in his pocket. All right. Okay, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're back to um, step number 10, 9. We're still on 9 right here. No, we've moved to 10. We've carved his arms out. We got his hands in his pockets, both sides. We can see his arms from the front. And now we're just going to take a little wood off to uh, make his shoulders a little thinner there so it looks like his elbows are sticking out. Carve these pencil lines off. Round his arm a little bit. Okay, his arm is bent, so we want to put a couple little creases in there. Let's see if this guy... Little V-cut, same old cut. See that little cut in there? Whoops. So here we're going to put a little V-cut where his elbow will be. There we go. Now we believe it's, his arm is bent. Okay, take this band, these bandsaw marks off. You kind of shave them off. Okay, 
Get rid of that little piece of fuzz. Okay, that arm, I, I like that arm, it's looking pretty good. Now we'll go over and do the same thing on this arm. Just kind of clean it up. Get the uh, pencil marks off. And get them off this one. Kind of round that arm there. That pencil mark off. See that little different color, different texture in the wood there. Make his little V cut for his elbow. Okay, there we go. Okay, now on the back of back of this carving, we need to kind of take our knife and scoop this. Give him a little small of his back. And this, this part of his uh, pants here are too flat, so we're going to just take some of that off. Clean up this bandsaw mark. Make him have a cute little rear end. I don't want a cute little rear end. Okay, that's nice and clean. Now we're going to give him some pockets. And again, we're creating a shadow, so we're going to cut straight in with that pocket, straight in with this one, and then come down to it. So you make that little shadow, that little cut there makes a nice little shadow for his pocket. Okay, I'm going to clean up his back here a little bit, clean up his arm, <sighs> all right, we're getting there, oh, okay, he needs some creases in his pants, see these little creases here? Little creases here. Those are again V cuts. Just take your knife, cut it in. There we go. Cut it, meet that cut. There we go. Okay, he's looking pretty good. Pretty symmetrical. Now let's round his stomach here. We've still got a flat stomach. So just take take the the edge of your knife. See where I'm just kind of keeping this flat to the wood? Where it just shaves off a little bit. We don't want big cuts in there. We want that to be nice and round like grandpa's tummy. Cut all your your pencil marks off. Oh yeah, he's a nice stout little fella there. Okay, the hardest part of this guy is coming up next. After we define where his hair stops and his face begins. His hair goes up to here and then his face starts, his little, his little jawline there. And I always make his hair kind of slanted up, not just straight up and down. So I'm going to put that line, actually right here you can see it. See where his, his chin ends and his jaw right there. And then his hair starts right here. And it's an upside down Y. You can see that right in here. So 
So I do it right in front of the shoulder. See, it's a little upside down Y. And then I go over here, do the same thing. Then I look at it, make sure they're both pretty symmetrical there. Okay, take your knife, hold it real strong, poke it in here, and poke it in here, and then cut that wood out at the bottom. Got a nice V there. Poke it in here. Poke it in here. And take that V out. Now we're going to make, we're just going to cut this line out. And that's going to identify his face from his hair. And do the same over here. We're going to cut this line out. Okay, now we want his hair to show more from the front. Right now, they're at the same level. So let's take some of his face away. Let his hair show. Okay, right now this this jaw is too low, so I can't make this one any any lower, so I have to make this one higher. So we're gonna cut over here and make it the same. Okay. Now if you haven't already, look and see if if these are both the same. And you can see on mine they're not. This one is nice and smooth. This one has an extra bump right there. So I'm going to take this, smooth it out. A two by four and put it on the end of our nose, end of our ear and out to the end of our nose on both sides, we would have almost a right angle. So look at your figure and see if, if you put, you know, both two of your fingers, just put two of your fingers like that and take it out if you're gonna have about a right angle because that's what you need for the face. Otherwise, it's gonna be flat. You can see on this little guy's face, he lost his nose but see how flat his face is? And this guy's flat too. That's before I learned how to make faces better. So we're going to have these faces. All right. Thank you. And please subscribe and hit like. And this is Sharon. See you later. Bye.